All right, setting up the new camera. What's up guys, Sensei Swole checking in for the latest video on the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying this quarantine style haircut I did myself. Not too bad, I reckon. Uh, this is the first time I'm testing out my new camera here today. And this video, I'm literally just doing from um, an Instagram poll that I made this morning. I was on a walk uh, and I thought, you know, why not ask you guys if you want this style of video, which is a Fiverr YouTube intro video. Now, basically what we're doing in today's video is I'm going to show you guys how I kind of went about making my new YouTube intro or kind of, you know, first YouTube intro for the channel. Because up until now, every time I made a video for the channel, I've just talked to the camera to start off that video. So uh, I thought, you know, why not get a proper intro made? Uh, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, you know, a high budget or anything like that, but just see how it goes. So I use a website called Fiverr, which is a freelancing platform. People make plenty of things such as logos, intros, outros, websites. I selected a um, person to make my YouTube intro. You just give them a bit of description of what you want. You can give them some photos, videos, and stuff they can use. And they usually give you anywhere between a day, two days, a week. You can kind of choose, and that's how the you know the cost of the purchase works as well. Basically, what we're doing in today's video is I'm going to show you guys how I kind of went about making my new YouTube intro or kind of you know first YouTube intro for the channel. But I'm also going to show you guys my screen as I go through and show you how I selected the person to make my YouTube intro and the different versions of the intro because you can request modifications when you make something on this platform. Let's dive into it. I'm excited to show you guys the final product at the end of the video, which is gonna be the YouTube intro for my future videos. And yeah, let's get into it. We'll also be using this fancy mic setup that I only set up last night. So convenient timing, because like I said, I only planned to do this video about two hours ago. So let's get into it. As I said, I'm gonna be showing my screen, but you know, screen recording. And at the same time, I'll be on the top right-hand corner of the screen talking through the steps um, taken to make this YouTube intro. So basically the first thing we did was go onto fiverr.com. And once we got on there, what I basically did was type in YouTube intro into the search bar. What I did was obviously I went to category first. So in category, I clicked on intros and outros, um, service options, let me see. Yeah, I clicked on YouTube channel intro. Um, what did I do next? In delivery time, I did up to three days because I didn't want to wait too long because in case I wanted to make any changes, which I did for this YouTube intro. We've got to capture guys. All right, that's done. Fuck, another page, come on man. Just want to give me a bloody intro. All right, done. Redirecting. So as you can see, there's still heaps. As you can, there's like 3,560 services available. I don't want to go through heaps. I just kind of, you know, filter through the first page. The one I went with was this one, so. Quick and easy, simple. Uh, it says, I will do YouTube intro, outro, video, nice grammar, trailer, and animated logo. So yeah, 4.9 reviews, over a thousand um, purchases on that product. It's just starting at 21.68 Australian dollars. So that's what I hit. The three different packages as well. So there's a basic, there was a standard, and there was a premium. So obviously the basic just says overlay text, logo, music. Standard says those plus also transparent background and video footage, which gives it more of a personal touch. And then, yeah, premium just said unlimited revisions and all that, but I didn't really need anything like that. I think I'd be fine off for a couple of changes. So yeah, we went with the standard, which costed um, 43.37 Australian dollars, not too bad. And it should take up to three days, or two days actually, and then six revisions, so you can get up to like six different versions. So if I backtrack now and go to my orders, you can see here, when I first placed the order, which means here, so there was like a YouTube banner, a couple of stage photos, my transformation photo, cute one with the mom and some with dad, and then, yeah, one from stage day, the iconic one of after the comp when I beat into my first donut and the trophy, or the medal, and then, yeah, a couple of stage videos too, just flexing on stage, and 17 sent me the first version, which I'll play for you guys now. So I didn't mind this one, but I wanted more of a personal touch to it. So what I said basically here, as you can see, was I wanted more of a personal touch. If you can include things, you know, such as the name of my channel, the text, um, sort of making some of the images transparent so it's not just popping all over the place. And then a certain sequence of photos. So that's what I wrote there, would being the before and after weight loss pictures in the start of the video, followed by, you know, the journey leading onto that stage. I sent him that revision request on the 18th of September. And then on the 19th, he gave me another one back, which I'll play here again. Yeah. 
And then after that, what I asked him to do was pretty much keep the sequence as it was, but if you could also check up some kind of pop-up, such as, you know, diet, training, meal prep, things like that, just to add a bit more of, um, you know, a draw to the video or engagement. So there was these two video versions that he sent me on the 20th of September, which I'll play for you guys now as well. I do like the text popping up, but not necessarily with photos of me on the stage or in the bodybuilding aspect. So what I did do next is send him back saying to keep that original song, but um, a bit of a change in it with the training first, diet second, and competitive bodybuilding pop-ups third for the writing that appears on the screen. And I sent him some photos and videos that can kind of relate to those words. When diet pops up, there's a bit of food photos. When it's something like training, footage of me training. When it's something like competitive bodybuilding, that's when it'd be me on stage. And then on the 22nd of September is when the final version came back. Um, and yeah, this is the one that I went with. This is the one I'm happy with. Haven't put it on the channel yet, so this will be the first time you guys are seeing it. And then I might do a little upload straight after this, just of the channel trailer, so it appears at the start of my channel. But here is the final intro for my channel, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright guys, so not bad. I'm happy with this. If I want to make a new intro, I obviously can later on. I might make one for like a 2022, you know, prep series or bulking series or something like that. Yeah, not a bad service. I'm pretty happy with using the platform. Shout out to Safe Edits. And yeah, total price, I paid 52.88 Australian dollars. Pretty happy with the purchase price and how you made changes, you know, based on what I wanted, which I really appreciated. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys appreciated this, showing you guys how I kind of went about to actually get this intro made. Um, it'll be appearing on my future YouTube videos. And I would really appreciate it if you let me know in the comments if you do like this intro or if there's any ideas that you might have based off what you've seen today. That could be a cool intro or cool series intro for future videos or for next year. Um, other than that, I would always really, really appreciate it if you could drop a comment in the comment section. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also shows me that you're watching this video and I'd love to engage with you guys in that comment section. And I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come on, guys. And um, I'll let you guys know on Instagram what my next video is going to be. But it will most likely be another checking video because we're getting closer and closer to the comp just under six weeks to go now as of what day is it today as of monday the 27th of september comp one is on the 6th of november comp two is on the 20th of november and then expect a big cheat day video right after that comp but yeah, thank you guys for watching sensei swole checking out